Hi, this is JP from Not Alive Over Arkham. Uh, this time I'm playing Stella Clark on the bit of despair scenario. I decided to start a new in Smart Conspiracy campaign with Stella after Sister Mary's run through the uh, in Smart Conspiracy campaign ran a bit short, but it is what it is and uh, I first uh, was thinking I won't be filming these playthroughs, but I decided to film this at least this first one uh, so that you can see which kind of a deck, uh, Stella deck uh, is maybe a good deck for the InSmart Conspiracy campaign. So let's look at Stella's deck. For fighting we have uh, the 18 caliber Derringer times 2, also 2 copies of Pyrax, then there's 2 copies of Old Keyring, uh, then of course because Stella's deck is full of failure mechanics, uh, there are 2 copies of Rabbit's Foot, and of course to secure that I won't uh, fail too much or that I fail enough. In some cases we have two copies of Granny Orn. Then for some uh, uh, not that us usual Stella cards I decided to try out Belly of the Beasts. Uh, Stella has a good uh, evade or agility score so uh, with belly of the beast you can uh, maybe evade an enemy that is engaged with you and grab a clue uh, while you're at it then of course there are uh, the usual grit your teeth uh, and uh, take hearts but one thing I discovered that might be really good in InSmart Conspiracy is the hiding spot. That it allows you to play it down and after an enemy moves into that location it becomes aloof so it never engages you and if you have played against deep one enemies they usually have a nasty when, in, when this enemy engages you ability for example they may deal you damage or horror or you might lose cards or resources or anything like that so I think hiding spot will be quite good in in smart conspiracy, in, in smart conspiracy with any survivor investigator but we'll see uh, my random basic weakness is nihilism it's not that bad for Stella but uh, other than that uh, we are probably failing some tests, but uh, Stella ha gets extra actions uh, with her abilities. So we'll see how it goes. So that's enough of the deck. We are playing the Pit of Despair on standard difficulty. I will continue after this playing through the campaign and hopefully I <laughs> manage to get to the last uh, scenarios which I wasn't able to do with Sister Mary earlier. So hopefully this deck can manage to get uh, further into the campaign's ending scenario. So hopefully this playthrough goes well, so let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the decks, so let's draw our opening hand. So we get Belly of the Beast, Lucky, Mysterious Raven, Rabbit's Food, and Neither Rain nor Snow. So immediately I'm thinking of keeping the Mysterious Raven at least. And uh, Neither Rain nor Snow is good, Rabbit's Food is good. Um, I think we are trying to find a weapon with the last two. So I'm Mulligan in the Belly of the Beast and Lucky. And we get another lucky and resourceful. Okay, well, resourceful is usually 
quite good in Survivor, so uh, we can get the Mysterious Raven again and uh, get easy clues with it. So I'm liking that. And Stella has high soak value, so 8 damage and horror, so good health and good sanity. Okay, so let's start by playing some assets down first. I think I'm playing the rabbit's food right away. Second action, let's play down the raven. And uh, I think I'm just discarding the raven to grab this clue. And we pick up this key, so we get the purple key. I place the keys over here. Last action. We really don't have anything to play, so we might as well start uh, checking out these other locations. So I think I'm going to the right first. And we find an underwater cavern. So, two shroud, one clue. It has uh, action move move from underwater cavern to any flooded cave location. Forced after underwater cavern is revealed, it becomes fully flooded. So, we need to definitely get out of here next turn. So, I'll keep the flood tokens somewhere there and that is our turn no enemies we go to upkeep we draw a card we hit nihilism and we gain one resource so right away getting a weakness but at least it's not that bad for us and we can just get rid of it if we don't pull into uh, draw into a bad encounter card but we'll see next turn and uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. We are at 1 of 7. Encounter card for this turn is... Uh, Rising Tides. Increase the flood level of the nearest location that can have its flood level increased. If no location's flood level is increased by this effect, Rising Tides gets search. So the nearest location is the unfamiliar chamber. So it becomes partially flooded. So that is not that bad. And uh, I think we are just trying to investigate here. So I'll commit the resource pool. And I am testing mm, two versus uh, three versus two. And it's a zero, so uh, I succeed, so I grab the Mysterious Raven back into hand and grab this clue. Then we need to get out of here, so I'll move back here and I'll move over here. Okay, so uh, we find the boundary pit, uh, so six shroud, one clue. For each key controlled by an investigator at the boundary pit, it gets minus one shroud, so it's a shroud of five. Fast triggered ability. If there are no clues on boundary pit and you control the yellow key, you notice an odd joint socket near the skeleton's miss midsection and ma that matches the shape of the yellow key. So we could read the flashback too, but unfortunately we don't have the yellow key. Uh, lucky for us, we have the raven. Oh yeah, and as I used the raven, I forgot to put the horror last time, so I'll just add it now. So, I think next turn, if we don't hit any bad enemies or treacheries, we might just uh, replay the raven and grab this clue, and add, then we have a chance to advance. But that will be determined next turn, so... That is our investigation phase, no enemies, upkeep, we draw a card, uh, we get hiding spots. So actually, I think 
yeah, there are no windows here so uh, to play the hiding spot unfortunately so hopefully we don't run into enemies but we'll see we gain also one resource and that is that turn let's go to the next turn so we add a doom and counter cards for this turn is well of course it's a lurking deep one so it engages us it deals us one damage but uh, we could just play the hiding spot it uh, becomes aloof and we can just leave which is a good option at this moment so fast action we'll play the hiding spot on to our location so this guy comes aloof just put him over here then uh, first action we'll play the raven and uh, fast trigger ability we'll take one horror and grab this group then we have two more actions left so I'll just move and move again and we find the fish graveyard so fish graveyard after you end your turn at fish graveyard if you do not control a key take one horror uh, if there are no clues on fish graveyard and you control the red key well we don't control the red key so that's another flashback room but unfortunately uh, we need to get a key uh, get a red key and a yellow key from somewhere else but it is what it is so uh, hiding spot uh, each non-elite enemy attached location against a low force at the end of the enemy phase if a ready enemy is at this is is at attached location discard hiding spot okay so we go to the enemy phase nothing happens upkeep we draw a card, we find take heart, gain one resource, and yeah, this got discarded. And uh, that is the turn, so let's continue the next round. We add another doom, we are a three of seven. And counter card for this turn is Dreams of Relay. Put Dreams of Relay into play in your threat area. You get minus one will and minus one sanity. Test uh, willpower three. If you succeed, discard Dreams of Relay. And uh, that is the Mythos phase. So, uh, right at the start of the investigation phase, we will spent the requisite number of clues to advance so we get recognition we spawn the set-aside amalgam enemy engage with the lead investigator which is us uh, shuffle the each set-aside copy of blind sense and from the depths into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile shuffle each of the set-aside tidal tunnel locations together to form the tidal tunnel deck including the set-aside altar of to Dagon, Idle Chamber and Sealed Exit Locations. Put locations from the top of the Tidal Tunnel deck into play below, to the left and to the right of each revealed location. Read Flashback 1 in the Campaign Guide. So, we get uh, Amalgam, engage with us. And uh, So this is a monster abomination deep one elite so we can't hiding spot uh, this guy and uh, after you successfully evade 
am amalgam by two or more, take on control of one of one key on it. And fourth, after the amalgam engages you, if you control a key, either place one of your keys on it or it attacks you. So it engages us, then we shuffle these encounter cards into the encounter deck. Then we shuffle these, so we get quite many locations into play right away. So I think I need to move these over here. Okay, let's put some locations into play, so one here, one here. One here, one here, and one here. Next. Mm. Yeah, so I need to decide, do I give the amalgam my key, or... I think I'm just giving the key. I can easily evade it. So, first action. I'm evading it, and I'll use neither rain or snow. And it's a elder thing, it's a minus three. If you fail and the amalgam is in the depths, put it into play. Well, we didn't fail and we actually succeeded by uh, two or more because we have a four and we are testing against two. So we grab the key and the amalgam is evaded. Next, um, I'll try to investigate here actually we still don't need to remove the clue here so I'm, I'm just moving over here and we find the sealed exit and we put a couple of new locations into play so we know where we need to get but we need to find the correct key before we can leave so we are still locked in and this location is fully flooded so I think I'm just uh, keep I'll just keep moving no point in staying here so I'll move over here and it's an underwater cavern and we'll get location over here now I have to check because there's a certain order Need to put those in. Left, right, and uh, below to the left and to the right. So uh, we have to place it below first, then left, then right, if able. And that is the whole map. We don't have any more locations, so we know where all the locations are on the map. And. Uh, there's one clue also here. So that is our turn. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep. This guy readies. We draw a card. We hit the call by the mists. So we really need to start getting rid of these uh, weaknesses. We also gain one resource. So uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yet a doom, and the encounter card for this turn is Memory of Oblivion. Test willpower 4 or intellect 4. If you reveal a Elder Thing token during this test, you automatically fail. For each point you fail by, choose and discard one card from your hand. And I think I'm committing the card to the test. So, testing willpower. Or intellect two, just test willpower two. It's a minus two, so we fail. Uh, so I resolve this first. We discard one card from our hand, but then we draw two cards. 
we gain one resource, uh, I mean we gain two resources. We also failed and I'll get an extra action for this turn. And also we get we get to activate the rabbit's foot to, to draw another card, so we get grit your teeth, track shoes and a mysterious raven. Okay, well, I think we are spending the extra action and one our, of our actions is to get rid of the cold by the mists. So after you initiate the skill test with the difficulty of 4 or higher, so uh, we also took one damage from that called by the mists. Okay, well, uh, we need to leave this location because it's fully flooded. But first, I'm playing in the track shoes. I'll put the track shoes over here. So. Uh, we'll move. Actually, uh, let's back up a bit. So I won't play the track shoes just yet. Uh, for our second action, we'll just move here. So we find the altar of Dagon. So if we control the blue key or more. Or three or more other keys, then we may spend two groups as a group to take control of the green key with that we need. Okay, now I'll play the track shoes. This was just because if we hit the location that is fully flooded, we take five damage, which we don't want today. So I'll go to enemy phase, this guy hunts here, upkeep. Uh, we ready, draw a card, we get the Derringer and we gain one resource, so good thing we found something to fight with also. And that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, and counter card for this turn is from the depths. If the Amalgam is in the depths, put it into it. play, engage with you, otherwise place the Amalgam in the depths, and from the depths gain search. So, I'll just... Uh, the Amalgam is in the depths over here, so it's not in play. And then... Um, we search the in from the depths, we get Blind Sense. There's Agility 3 if you fail and the Amalgam is in the depths, put it in the play, engage with you, it makes an immediate attack, so... Hopefully we can succeed in this test. So 4 versus 3. It's a minus 4. So unfortunately we fail. The amalgam comes back from the depths. Engages us. Grabs our key and attacks us. So we'll take 1 damage and 1 horror. So we fail a test, I'll uh, use the rabbit's foot, we get the fire axe. And that is the mythos phase. Let's go to the investigation phase. I think first thing we do is to evade 5 versus 2. Um, actually, we failed a skill test, so I'll play this before we start our turn. So now we have a plus one to each of our skills, so I'm evading six versus two. And also we failed a test, so we get an extra action. It's a tablet. Tablet is a minus two, but we succeed. And uh, we succeed by enough, so we grab the clue back, uh, the key back. Then we'll move over here. 
it's the tidal pool. Uh, after a tidal pool is revealed randomly, choose one of the set aside face down keys and place the tidal pool without looking at it. So one of these keys gets placed. So I'll just place this one. There's one clue here. And uh, yeah, then we would investigate here. Actually, I think I'm just playing the Raven. No, uh, we have a plus one to investigating, so now. Uh, uh, I'll just play the Raven. Then I will just discard the Raven. And we find the red key, and we need the red key here, so we might as well start making our way over there. So we'll move here for our last action. There are two clues here and it's partially flooded and can't fully flood. And uh, I think that is our turn. So Enemy face, nothing happens, upkeep, this guy readies, we draw a card, we get belly of the beast, and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We are at 6 of 7 doom, so near advancing the agenda. Uh, encounter card for this turn is... Riptide. If your location is unfloated, this can search. Otherwise, test Agility 3, or instead if it's fully floated. If you fail, choose and discard one asset to control. If you cannot lose one resource for each point you failed by. So, I'm testing 5 versus 3. It's an Elder sign. Uh, for this, I won't fail it, so I'll just succeed. And uh, let's think about it. So I think we're moving up here. Uh, I will be investigating here. Really don't have anything to boost this with. Well, let's see what happens. Investigating uh, 2 versus 2. So, minus 1. We fail. Uh, we get an extra action. Which we'll use to investigate. Oh yeah, and uh, let's draw a card with the rabbit spot. And... Uh, Okay, I think I'm committing this, won't have time to play it. It's a minus one. So we grab this clue, then uh, yeah, we forgot to read the last pack one in our campaign guide and it only makes us uh, record in our memories recovered that we had a meeting with Thomas Dawson but now we get to read classic pack number three so we record in our memories recovered uh, addition a uh, decision to stick together and we remove one tablet from the chaos pack from for the remainder of the campaign. So 
So we remove one tablet. And uh, last action. Let's see what we have here. So another underground river. And I'll actually use the track shoes to try and move back. It's a minus two. So we're testing five versus three, so we succeed, so we get an extra move over here. And that is our turn. Enemy face, this guy hunts here. Upkeep. Just keep this over here. We draw a card, we find Granny Oron, gain one resource. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we add a Doom, so this agenda advances. The Flood begins. Increase the Flood level of each revealed location until the end of the game. Each time location is revealed, increase its Flood level. Keep this card. As a reminder, well, we just put it underneath here, and then uh, the same text. If we end up uh, start and don't leave a fully flawed location, we take five direct damage. So we remove those doom. Okay, let's start adding the flawed levels. So. Uh, this is increased to partially flooded. So is this. Mm. So is that one. Oh yeah, this should be also partially flooded. This is partially flooded. So I think this one was already partially flooded, so we increased to fully flooded. And that is everything. Then uh, we get the encounter card. It's a deep on assault. Disengage from each deep on enemy at your location. Each deep on enemy at your location and each connecting location engages you. If no enemy engages you from this effect, search the encounter deck and discard pile for deep on enemy. Spawn it, engage with you, and shuffle the encounter deck. Uh, so this is, we don't have a deep one enemy in any connecting location, so we'll just grab this, let's grab this uh, deep one bull, it has a low, low evade value, so we can evade it more easily, of course when it engages us. This should be ready. When it engages us, uh, we unfortunately uh, have to lose one card from our hand, but it is what it is. So I'll put it over here. It can be this green color. So we'll lose the I'll lose the fire axe. Yeah. Then, uh, first action, we'll try to evade. I'm evading five versus. Uh, five versus two. It's a minus three, so we succeed. This uh, enemy is evaded. And uh, we'll move twice over here. And uh, I'll actually try to use the Track shoes to move an extra movement. So five versus three. 
it's a zero. So we'll move to this tidal tunnel and it's the idle chamber. Post after idle chamber is revealed place the set aside blue key on it. Uh, if there are no clues on idle chamber and you control the purple key, purple key opens the stone door at the end of the chamber, revealing a shrine with two familiar statues, one of white marble, the other of onyx. And we read flashback number four. So we really want this uh, clue from here, so we can grab that uh, blue key, which we need here to get the green key, which we need to have here to escape. So the escape plan is forming up. And uh, now we just need to get this key from here. So enemy face, this guy hunts. We want to hunt over here or over here. Yeah, let's hunt over here. No, let's hunt over here. And upkeep. We draw a card. This guy readies. Nice, we get uh, resourceful, which might help us get uh, Raven again. Or something else to get the clue out of here and we get in one resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn uh, we add a doom the threshold for this is eight so we have plenty of time still uh, and count card for this turn is a young deep one okay well I think we found a solution that doesn't require us to have the raven. So um, let's get this guy engaged with us. So uh, we'll belly of the beast this guy. Okay, uh, we have to first succeed by two or more. So we are using the resourceful. So I'm invading. Oh yeah, we take one horror because it engaged us. Uh, we are evading six versus. So we commit the resourceful. So six versus three. And it's a minus one. So. This is evaded. We play Belly of the Beast because we succeeded by two or more. Actually, uh, first we need to grab something from here. Mm. What do we need? We basically don't need that much stuff anymore, so. We'll grab Let's grab neither rain nor snow. Three wild icons is quite good. Then uh, we succeed by two or more we play the belly of the beast. Uh, we grab this clue. We grab this key. And uh, that was our first action. Second action, we move over here. And uh, we'll try to use our track shoes. Oh yeah, uh, before that we had the purple key, so we uh, read the flashback number four. So flashback number four, we record an encounter with a secret cult and we remove one Elder Thing token from the back. So just a moment. So we remove one of these 
and now I'll try to use the uh, track shoes so we succeed uh, we'll move over here and I'll move uh, actually we'll move over here we'll move extra over here and uh, Last action, I'll try to get rid of this uh, Dreams of Rilla. So I'll commit the Neither Rain or Snow to the test. So let's back up. So uh, yeah, evade, move, free move, and the last action to get rid of the Dreams of Rilla. It's a minus three. So we fail. We get an extra action and we grab a card. I uh, will actually, last action, I'll play the Granny Orn for more horror soak. Should have done this before, but it is what it is. Okay. Uh, Enemy face this guy hunts here. No other hunters ready. This readies in the upkeep. We draw a card. We get another granny orn. Again, one resource. That is that turn. And we'll go to the next turn. We add a doom. Encounter cards for this turn is another young deep one. Well, aren't we lucky? So we take a horror. I'll put it on Granny Horn when it engages. Mm, first action. I'll try to evade. I'm evading five versus three. And it's a minus one. So this guy is evaded. Second action will move here. And I'll use the track shoes so we don't engage with this guy. Uh, we are evading uh, five versus four. No, uh, we are actually testing five versus three, so we need to just see. It's a skull, and uh, skull is minus two if we are partially flooded, so we succeed. We don't engage, and we move past here. And it's a tidal pool. We rise the flood level a bit, and this is here. There's one clue here. And last action, we'll try to investigate. So, I'm investigating versus three uh, two versus four so uh, we fail so we get an extra action and I'll use that action to try to investigate again. It's a minus one. Um, I'll actually I'll exhaust Granny to fail only with one less, so I'm failing by two, and I'll play lucky. So we grab this clue and get this key. And we need the yellow key here, so next round we need to make a stop there to uh, get that flashback too. No enemies, we go to... Uh, yeah, enemy face, this guy hunts here, this guy hunts here. Uh, upkeep, this guy readies. Uh, 
uh, where is this guy? Oh yeah, here. And uh, yeah, that's all. So we draw a card, we get look what I found, and we gain one resource. So we're, we ha actually have a chance to get uh, extra victory point also, but we'll see if we have the time. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom. The encounter card for this turn is Macabre Memento. Terror. Revelation test will part 3. If you reveal a cultist token during this test, you automatically fail. If you fail, take 2 horror. Okay, well, I really don't have that much horror soap left, so I'm committing Granny Orn to this test, so I'm testing uh, 3 versus 3. Uh, 4 versus 3 because we have Granny Orn in play. Yeah, this is ready. It's committed. It's a minus two. Uh, we unfortunately fail this, but we get an extra action. Oh, yeah, we already have it here. So we take two horror, uh, one here and uh, one here. So we have one horror left here, which is not good. Okay, well, first action. We really want. Uh, can we really? Uh, now I have to really think if I want to stop. Oh yeah, that's a. Oh uh, yeah, it's a fast trigger ability, so we basically can do that in the middle of running past it. Okay, uh, we'll move here. Uh, we'll test the uh, track shoes. So we, uh, at this moment, we can fast trigger it. So we read flashback number two because we have the yellow key. So we record a battle with the horrif horrifying devil, and we remove one cultist token from the back. Okay, so we remove the cultist token. Uh, we'll test uh, the track shoes now, 5 versus 3. And, okay, this should... Uh, well, I, I can't remember if I used the rabbit foot this turn. Or, no, I didn't. So, we should have drawn one card when we failed the Macabro Memento. Uh, so, I'll commit the other track shoes. Actually, to this test, so six versus three, minus three. <laughs> Very lucky. So that action is used, and we get to make an extra move. And I'll try to investigate here. Uh, I'm investigating two versus. Four. Uh, minus two. We'll try to investigate again. And it's the uh, elder sign. Uh, we still fail. But now we can play. Look what I found. To grab these two clues here. Which is really nice. We get an extra victory point. And the last action, I'll try to get rid of this one. So, 3 versus 3. And it's a plus one, so we get a bit more breathing room. And we get rid of the dreams of relay. And uh, enemy phase. The hunters move over here. Upkeep, be ready. And we draw a card. 
another derringer and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, so four of eight. Encounter card for this turn. Undertow. Okay, so if your location is unflooded, uh, well, it isn't. Post after you move the two damage and two horror discard undertow. We really can't afford that. So, fast trigger ability discard one card from your hand, test strength 3 or agility 3 to fight the pull. If you succeed, discard this. Okay, so we just need to get rid of that. So, we discard the derringer and we're testing agility. So, uh, 5 versus 3. It's a minus 2, so we get rid of this undertow. First action, we'll move over here. We'll trigger the track shoes. I've, I've been forgetting to put the exhaust token there, but I have only been using it once per turn, so no problem there. Uh, using the track shoes, 5 versus 3. Elder sign plus 1. We'll just move past, we'll move over here, second action and third action, we'll go like so, and next turn we can, uh, we have the blue key and three other keys also, so we can use two clues as a group to take control of the green key, so next turn looks like take control of the key and move, move, Possibly. So uh, let's move the hunters. This guy moves here. This guy moves over here. This guy moves over here. No, this one. And uh, that is the enemy phase. So upkeep, we draw a card, we get belly of the beast, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Encounter card is Swarm of Rats. Well, well, that sucks. Well, uh, we have plenty of damage soak for the three actions we are do gonna do this turn, so we just ignore the rats. Uh, first action we'll spend the two clues, we get uh, this, and we'll take one damage from the rats. Then we will uh, move, again taking damage from the rats. Then we'll test the uh, track shoes and I'll commit the belly of the beast, so 6 versus 3. It's a minus 3, so we pass, so we get an extra movement, and we'll resign with the green key. So that went really well, in my opinion. Okay, so to the coast, so we get the resolution 1, and we manage to get out of the uh, pit of despair. Okay, well, um, we check out resolution 1 quickly, so we earn experience from each card in the victory display, it's only one at the moment, but then we head to CCG. No, let's, uh, I was on the wrong page. Just a moment. Okay, so we get one experience, then we go to interlude one puzzle pieces, and we get one, two, three, four additional experience because we had a meeting with Thomas Dawson. We 
battle with the horrifying devil. We also made a decision to stick together and we had an encounter with a secret cult. So, uh, altogether, five experience, which is really good for this scenario. And uh, that is that. So, yeah, I, I have uh, good hopes of getting R with this deck in the in smart conspiracy there is just enough evasion and clue getting and mobility in this deck and uh, the early hiding spot really helped us to get rid of that one high evade deep one the lurking deep one here so that was really good and then we basically just uh, run away from everything so it, the deck functioned really well so hope you guys like this playthrough as always thanks for watching and until next time